We're excited to introduce V-Ray Next, our next generation renderer for Maya. Overall, it's 25% faster on average, and it's packed with powerful new features like V-Ray Scene Intelligence, improved GPU production rendering, and a fully redesigned IPR that will speed up render times and artists' workflows. One of the first major new features added in V-Ray Next is the adaptive dome light. Because the dome light is such a popular tool for lighting scenes, we've made it easier to set up and faster to render. By using V-Ray Scene Intelligence to learn about the scene, the adaptive dome light automatically optimizes its calculations and removes the need for skylight portals. The results will render cleaner, and in this case two times faster. Depending on the scene, the speed boost can be up to seven times. With V-Ray Next, we've completely redesigned IPR. It's faster, more stable, and it allows for continuous feedback while you're working. Now, you can scrub through animation or even create play blasts directly from the new IPR. For even faster artist feedback in IPR, we've added support for real-time denoising with the NVIDIA AI Denoiser. For final frame rendering, you'll want to switch over to the V-Ray Denoiser, but the AI Denoiser works perfectly for interactive look development. Also, for speeding up look development, we've added a new debug shading tool. Now, you can select and isolate individual objects, textures, and shaders, so you can focus on just a specific part of your shading network. For rendering previews of your animations, V-Ray IPR now supports play blasts. It's perfect for fast previews, and it also works with V-Ray GPU and the new AI Denoiser as well. In V-Ray Next, GPU production rendering is now twice as fast. It's built on a brand new multi-kernel rendering architecture and supports many more high-end production features like volume rendering and cryptomat output. GPU rendering is super fast for rendering volumetric effects like smoke, fire, and fog. In this example, we show rendering a play blast of smoke with the help of V-Ray GPU and AI denoising. V-Ray GPU Next also adds support for bucket rendering, which makes it possible to render cryptomats for compositing. V-Ray Next also adds some new shaders to the mix. First, let's look at the new physical hair material. It's more accurate, with better highlights and new glint and glitter options, and it's much easier to set up with simple controls. A new addition to the V-Ray material is metalness. Popular for real-time engines like Unreal and Unity, the new metalness parameter makes it much easier to create PBR-compatible materials from tools like Substance Painter. Next, the new Tune Shader makes creating cartoon, anime, and cell shaded effects quick and easy. With options for advanced line controls, you can stylize the look of your scenes any way you want. V-Ray Next also adds a powerful new layered texture to make it much easier to create complex textures using blend modes and masking controls. And 
finally, we're very excited to announce a connection to the V-Ray Cloud, our new push-button cloud rendering service. From V-Ray Next for Maya, just hit the V-Ray Cloud button and it takes care of the rest. There's no virtual machines to set up or assets to wrangle. Be sure to sign up for the V-Ray Cloud Beta today to give it a try. Your workflow will never be the same.